this was a huge headline yesterday because everyone has played or knows someone who's played Candy Crush, right? right. We're all we're all getting the invites on Facebook to play Candy to Crush be... with our high school friends that we haven't <laughs> right. talked to in 30 years, right? But Tom, this is a, a perfect example of a company that some said you know had a one-hit wonder, and what's you know where do we go from here? This is the challenge that these companies face, right? They have very low cost of entry. You know, they can right. come up with these great games that generate huge buzz, big sensation. Everybody's inviting you to play. Play them, uh, and they're low. To, they're low cost to make, so that makes it. You know, it's a low cost kind of way to get into the company. The problem is they're 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 boom and bust. They right. lose they lose their luster very very quickly. We saw the same thing with Zynga and Farmville, um, and they're they're really in danger of going down that same that same road. So they've constantly got to come up with the next big thing that's going to generate that much buzz just again. Uh, and you know, shame on I have to say, shame on Wall Street, Tom, because uh, 11 of the 13 analysts who covered King Digital up until yesterday had a buy rating on King Digital. Don't these people learn their lessons? Come on. Right. So, uh, you know, why were people so, uh, given what you just said to me, why were they so bullish uh, on the outlook for this company? Yeah, I mean, once again, uh, this is a company that really did a very, very good job of getting a lot of people to come into the game. Um, and the problem that these companies face, unlike the other game makers, is these are these are very easy to create, They're and, and but there's not a lot of high production value, unlike the other, like Activision and Take-Two, these other game makers that have these these high production, these these games that really yeah. get a lot of loyalty, they're high price, they're higher margin, um, and, and they, they lock you in and they like they keep producing the, the titles. Right, the titles and the it, franchises that they build on then. A lot of loyalty, you keep coming back, you spend another thirty, forty dollars. It's a very different model and and there's something to it, you know? Uh, so then, what happens next for King Digital? I mean, what are what are you, what are what are investors expecting? They really need to, they really need to keep cranking out big big hits okay. that are going to generate a lot of buzz, and and and, and they need to bring the, bring in the developers that are going to be able to do that for them. And did King did they address that at all yesterday in their earnings? They're um, you know it's really tough to say exactly where where they go from here. I mean the thing is I think Wall Street is really waking up to the fact that you you need more than just a couple of one hit wonders. Uh, that's right. I mean you you definitely do. You need to keep them rolling. Then Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Tom Giles of our technology team.